Hey guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding. I'm sadly doing this video right now. I think the whole bodybuilding media, the whole bodybuilding world will talk about this in the next few days, weeks, months, and maybe years. Luke Sandow passed away at the age of 30. I thought about doing a video about this. I will later on will you know explain why I'm doing this video because I at the beginning people talk a lot of trash I at the beginning thought that this was just speculation that he is dead and people are trash talking this and you know want to harm his name but it seems like he really passed away so I'm doing this video without sorry with confidence and without feeling bad about it because you know, you definitely have to pay tribute for a guy like Luke Sando, who looked extremely good and who was seen as the future Dorian Yates because he was a British guy, you know, and we don't have that many British pros in the bodybuilding class, especially at the Open, so he was a refreshing guy who newly came up. He just turned pro in 2016, so... He was the future guy. He looked incredible. He had great placements. I think one of his best or his best placement was the third place at the Arnold Classic this past year. So he was on his way. He really was on his way. He looked great at the Tampa Pro 2019 also. He also competed at the Olympia in 2019 and got 11th. So man it feels hard to say that i really thought and i hope that people will do a follow-up news that that was just rumors and he's not that but seeing messages and seeing videos about people who know him man it's hard to believe i really don't want to believe it and the reason i made this video is because lucas who sent a uh, retcon one and also Nick from Nick Standard Power is with Redcon 1. So I was like, if a guy like Nick talks about that, then it has to be true, sadly. Then sadly, the hope was that. And Luke Sando, man, man, man. Rest in peace, Luke Sando. If you want me, guys, I will do a tribute video about Luke. But I have to tell you one thing. How did he came to bodybuilding was very, very interesting. It was not a standard thing for Luke. During, you know, uh, in one of the interviews you just read on greatestphysique.com that during his last years of playing drums, so he was playing drums actually, Luke noticed that he gains quite a bit of fat around his belly. Like most men his age, he wanted to improve his looks. His goal was to have abs of steel. And then he said, my mom accidentally bought me a Flex magazine one day. And instead of thinking that's gross, my immediate thought was you can actually look like comic book art in real life. So, man, 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 that's really, I'm not happy that I'm have to talk about this. But that's just how, how it is. People say it's from suicide, so... I don't want to speculate about this one either. There is no specifically uh, report out that uh, comments or displays the reason for his passing. Um, we don't know it, so guys, you know, don't crazily or heavily speculate about things you don't know, and don't spread wrong rumors. That's not the time for it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to be keep getting updates on this issue. And of course, on all the other, hopefully, more positive things in the bodybuilding world. If you want me to do a little tribute video about Luke Sando, even it, if it's just a couple minutes, I think he definitely deserve, you know, deserved to get uh, recognized from the bodybuilding community. I really want to do it. So give this video a thumb up and write it in the comments and give those comments a thumb up i want to really i want to have your feedback that we won't forget luke sando you know you never know even being that big that professional you never know 
what is in the mental health of those guys, what, you know, they are humans, what goes on in their minds, in their head, maybe that had huge issue and covered it with bodybuilding, you never know, subscribe to my channel, bye.